Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. So this is a speed reviews video. This is one of my favorite kinds of videos to watch and one of my favorite kinds of videos to film. So I've been hearing people call these speed reviews. This is just what I've been doing all along. No different, but I've heard them referred to as speed reviews. So I'm gonna call them speed reviews from time to time, maybe not always. Let's just get started. I realize I rarely talk about makeup, so I'm gonna talk about some makeup products that I have been loving. I got in one of the last FabFitFun sales the Laura Geller Lash Boss Mascara, and it is right here. So this is it, it's a really simple packaging. This is amazing, the spoolie is really, really straightforward, literally straightforward, it's very straight, uh, somewhat slender, and it goes on so well. I'm wearing it right now. I am wearing two coats because I put it on earlier and then I freshened up and I put on another coat. So it doesn't look as nice and fresh as it typically does when I first put it on. But this is really, really lengthening and it is not clumpy at all. Now I don't mind clumpiness too, too much with mascaras. I'm okay with it. I like volumizing mascaras and a lot of times there's a little clump with those kinds of mascaras and I don't mind. This doesn't clump and it's very lengthening, very clean. It looks great. I'm really enjoying that, this mascara. I got it because I did see that it had wonderful reviews when it was available in the FabFitFun sale and I love mascaras so I thought, okay, well, let's throw that in my cart. Laura Geller is one of those brands, I mentioned this before, where I always kind of glossed over it because I see so much of her stuff at TJ Maxx and it was almost like it was too available to me and so I would just overlook it. It's almost like you don't want to make yourself too available when you're dating somebody, otherwise they kind of lose interest. And it was kind of the same principle there. So that is the mascara, like I said, that I'm wearing on my eyes right now and I love it. So I just decided that I'm gonna talk about this mascara while I'm on mascaras. This is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist. This also has equally simple packaging and I really like this. It is actually somewhat similar in the way it applies to the Laura, Laura Geller. It is a little more wispy though, so it's even less volumizing. I didn't know if I would like the spoolie when I first got it. I'm still kind of getting to know what kinds of spoolies I like. I do like the spoolie. I don't like it as much as the Laura Geller spoolie, but some people really like this kind of spoolie, but that's, there's the spoolie, and it gives you really lengthened, wispy lashes. So it's also also a great layering mascara for that reason. I heard about this one from Taylor Wynn. I really like her and her channel. So that's enough about mascaras. I have tons of mascaras. I can tell you all about them. If you want, I could do like a more thorough in-depth mascara review video. Actually, I'm gonna tell you about one more mascara now that I'm thinking about it. This is a mascara that I did get in a FabFitFun sale and actually I wanna get rid of it. It is the Fat Lash <laughs> Mascara. I don't want to swear on my channel because I don't want if you have children around and I just don't want to start on my channel but if you have children around I want you to be able to watch it anyway I ordered this one from a FabFitFun sale a while ago I haven't seen it since maybe a year ago or so and I ordered it because they had two available and this one is has a spoolie like this but they also had one that had like a ball on the top with spikes and I really wanted to try that spoolie that's why I ordered it but they sent me the wrong one so that was a bummer I do not like this mascara anyway the formula it goes on it nicely but it seems to rarely dry down I took a picture and I'll insert it here this that picture I took like a couple of hours into my day and it was still leaving smudges around my eyes it never dried down really well and so I don't like it don't recommend it in fact I'm gonna put it aside to get rid of it right now okay so moving on from mascaras this is an empty this is the Amica nourishing mask I found this one at TJ TJ Maxx for $9.99. Amika is a brand that's at Sephora. I loved it, loved it, loved it, loved it. It smells really nice, really salon, fresh kind of smell. Almost a little bit like a, what you would think a laundry detergent would smell like, but you know, it's for hair and it's that kind of salon fresh scent. It's great. It's not a bad laundry detergent scent. Now that I said that, I'm kind of like, eh. 
really laundry detergent but yeah laundry detergent like one that you wouldn't mind having in your hair it just smells so good and clean and wonderful and it made my hair feel great it was easy to comb my hair out after I used it it felt hydrated this was really really good stuff I really recommend it I have a couple more empties I have talked about these once or twice actually already on my channel this is the Supernatural Shampoo and Secret Weapon Conditioner by We Are Paradox. They were very, very good. They had very herbal botanical scents and they did well in my hair. I liked them. I like this company. They're based in Ireland and something that is really just awesome about them is they use aluminum for their packaging. There are many ways we can move away from plastic and they're doing it. So I love that and I really, really like the shampoo and conditioner. If you're in the market for a shampoo and conditioner and it comes up in a FabFitFun sale, this was from FabFitFun. If this shows up in a sale, I would recommend getting it if you're in the market for a shampoo and conditioner, unless there's another one in the sale that's better. Okay, so while we're on shampoo and conditioner, this is the Vor shampoo and conditioner this is the signature shampoo and conditioner I got this from FabFitFun I got it because on Sephora it had pretty good reviews I just was really interested in the company I will also put the ratings for these products here I can't quite remember what they were I think it was four stars I don't like these at first I really didn't like them and now it's kind of like eh, okay I can get through using them I don't have to just get rid of them without getting through them they don't seem to do much for my hair my hair hair is curly and it's frizzy and it just doesn't seem to work too well for my hair. It says it's silicone, paraben, sulfate, and phthalate free and not tested on animals. So I was really intrigued and they're not cheap retail. So you get 8.4 fluid ounces. Also the smells aren't awful. The shampoo smells good. A little bit perfumey, but okay. And then the conditioner smells, it has like a, I don't know, it's not turmeric, but there's a kitchen spice in it that I can't figure out what it is. I can't put my finger on it. My husband would know. I should have had him smell it. Like it's like cumin or turmeric or something like that in it. And I'm getting used to it. At first it was a little much, but these are just really falling flat for me. I don't know. I don't really know why they have such good reviews on Sephora. I mean, they weren't outstanding stellar reviews, but they were good reviews. So that's that. Obviously, I recommend these over this. Here is an empty. I didn't get it from FabFitFun. I actually was sent this for free to try, and it is now a deodorant that I use very, very regularly. I do have a code in the description box below. I don't get any money for that code. They did sponsor a video that I did a while ago, and I meant every word I said in that video. I love it. It works really well. It's natural. It does have baking soda in it. So if you're sensitive to baking soda, then this wouldn't be for you, but it does work really, really well. So I do recommend this one. So speaking of deodorant, this is the type A deodorant. This is often available in FabFitFun sales. I didn't get it from FabFitFun sales. A wonderful subscriber friend sent this to me for me to try. And it does really work. I remember seeing a lot of people really into it during the sales. And the only complaint I ever saw was people saying that the packaging was a little bit weird you have to squeeze up here and there are some holes that the product comes out of and then you rub it on your underarms some people would say it would be really hard to squeeze that out of and I could see perhaps that happening if where you live is really really cold and then the product gets kind of harder I could see that being a problem so for me though so far it's worked in the times I've used it it's been great so I'm excited about that so now I want to talk about lip bombs and products I should talk about what I'm wearing on my lips too. I will. First, I'm gonna talk about some things I've gotten from FabFitFun. This is finally empty. I've actually talked about this couple of times before, but it's been a while. This is the Jouer Lip Enhancing Treatment, I believe is what it's called. Essential Lip Enhancer condi Conditioning Lip Treatment. So I loved this. This was like $9 and I think it retails for $16 and it is wonderful. It's a wonderful treatment. You're supposed to wear it like three times a day for 28 days, but you know, I just wore it at night. I did try twice a day for a while. I just wore it at night and it was plenty to make my lips feel soft and nourished and it helped my lip color wear really well because I was using it regularly. So I really liked this. It's empty. I'm sad. I haven't seen it in a since it was in the sale that I purchased it in. Hopefully it shows up again and if it does I would recommend it. And then I have been using lately the Kapari Lip Glossy. This one 
and I have seen it in sales since I purchased it. This one is almost as good as the Jouer. It is a little bit slipperier and it is a little bit more oily. I don't like it quite as much, but it is very nice. At first I was really, really hard on it because I had just come off using the Jouer, which I was so infatuated with, loved it. But I realize now after trying this one and then trying some others that this is actually a really, really nice lip treatment as well. I also just got the Image Skin Care or Medic Balance lip enhancement complex and this is a first impression I don't like it as much as I'd hoped I would I saw this was from FabFitFun I saw some random here and there really excellent reviews on it that people thought it worked really well the thing that I don't like about it is it's very thick and actually the times that I have used it I always use this kind of thing at night before I go to bed as a lip mask and the times that I have used it I've woken up in the morning and my lips actually kind of felt a little more dry I don't know if it's me in particular just my skin type my body I'm gonna keep giving this one a try like I said it's a first impression so I will let you know if my opinion changes a about it but I definitely prefer the Kapari over it and I don't know how much longer I'll use this one I'll let you know and then I have another one I love these kinds of products so this is the K Voss lip treatment I actually got this one in a Petiver box so it's not from FabFitFun I just used it a couple of times the past couple of nights this is also a first impression this one's really, really nice. It's up there with the Kopari. Still, the Jouer takes the cake, but this one's up there with the Kopari. I like these both a lot, and I do recommend them. One that I do not recommend, unless this turned, this is the Feel Anywhere Balm with mint oil. It has oil in it, so I'm wondering if the oil turned and this tube is just bad, but I did not enjoy putting this on my lips. It's Right now it smells like mint, but when I put it on, it smelled awful. It was really, really runny and oily and it tasted bad. I will try it once or twice more just to make sure I don't really want to. But at this point, I don't recommend it. I have another one and there's a third one somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. I hope I didn't give it away and it's just an awful product. So I have another one and I will try it again and see. So far though, that was a really bad experience. I wiped it off. I didn't even wear it. I ran to the bathroom and got a tissue and wiped it off and said that's awful and my husband he says oh that one's getting a bad review <laughs> it was really cute okay so that's it for lip balms lip moisturizers lip sleeping masks that kind of thing i'm going to talk about what i'm wearing on my lips this isn't from thought that fun either this was a buy that I made because I watch a lot of YouTube review videos. Like I said, this is my favorite kind of video. On my lips right now, in case you're curious, I learned about this lipstick from Beauty with Emily Fox. She is great. I really like watching her channel. She does a lot of really thorough swatching videos if you ever are curious about a line of products, especially lip products, and you want to pick a color to try. She swatches like all of the colors if she gets sent PR, all of them, and she does a really great job with her videos. So so oh, anyway, I am going to talk about the Milani Matte Naked Lipstick. I will have it linked below. The Milani has a few different formulas of lipsticks out there. And this one is the Color Statement Lipstick. And this is actually, it's a really unique formula. So that's the color. That's, it's naked is the color. Emily Fox was saying that she just loves this color. So of course I hopped on Amazon. It was like $5 and I tossed it in my cart. And the next order I made, this one, this came along with the whatever it was I ordered. So the formula isn't super creamy. It's actually matte. It's a matte naked, obviously. And if you blot it enough times, it actually becomes transfer proof. It doesn't transfer anymore. And it is somewhat long lasting. I love long lasting lipsticks. They're pretty much the only kind of lipstick that I will use. I have some that aren't and I just never want to wear them. But this one, yeah, I will wear this sometimes and it can't handle, you know, you eating a meal, but it will stay on for a few hours, especially if you don't have anything to drink. It really has some staying power. And then when I was buying this, I decided to go ahead and get the Milani Color Statement Lip Liner because it was also just as affordable and I don't have a nude lip liner and so I just felt like I really needed one at the time and I purchased it 
For some reason, quarantining, I'm doing some retail therapy with quarantining. So I went and got this. I'm buying makeup and it's like, where am I even going? I don't know. So that's what I'm wearing on my lips right now in case you're curious. I have another Kapari product. This is the coconut oil coconut face cream. This is coconut oil. I have dry skin and it's too hydrating for me. It's pretty wild. It leaves my skin oily when I wake up in the morning and that's not such a bad thing for me. My skin's dry and I just wake up and I splash water on it and pat it down or use micellar water or whatever. But I don't recommend this if you don't have dry skin. I actually don't really even recommend it for dry skin, but if you have anything other than dry skin, stay away from this. I mean, it has coconut oil in it. You would probably stay away from it anyway. Not a lot of people can rub coconut oil on their face. Also the smell, it's not heavily scented or anything, but it's kind of, I don't know, I just don't really like it. It's subtle. There's almost a plasticiness to it. Like there's a slight coconut. It's like sweet plastic. It's really weird. And then on top of that, the directions say to slather onto freshly cleansed and toned skin. Grace your face morning and night or any time you need a hit of hydration. My skin goes oily if I use this once a day. It's pretty wild. I was using it on top of hyaluronic acid, so that could have also retained much more of the moisture and made it even oilier than maybe it would have, but still. I would rub my forehead when I woke up in the morning and it was like slick. It was weird. I don't experience that often as somebody with dry skin. So the next thing I want to talk about is this Terra Mara Dual Action Bamboo Acai Scrub. I got this from FabFitFun. Terra Mara is a really lovely high-end vegan beauty line. It smells a little bit like muted berry. Very, very subtle. A little bit earthy. It was nice to use. I didn't finish it, which means that I didn't absolutely love it. It ended up turning into like this really hard jelly. It is kind of a jelly-like consistency. I don't know. Oh yeah. Wow. The lighting. <laughs> I definitely fixed my lighting. My lighting was terrible for a while and it looks a little bit like poop. Sorry. That's what it looks like. I didn't make it. What was interesting about it was you, it smells like how I described and then when I would put it on, it got more and more like minty smelling and then there was a bit of a tingle when I would use it and it would it would feel really really nice. The granules aren't all that fine. It's okay. I wouldn't buy it again. It was good. I enjoyed using it. Obviously I didn't need to use it up though. I bought the Trend Mood Volume 7 box I think it was. I did that unboxing on my channel. I will link it in the description box below. That was back when my lighting was bad actually. Speaking of my lighting I mentioned that earlier. It came with this. It's the Basha Berry Blend Smoothing Facial with 28% Acid Complex. Now this is a uh, cruelty-free, I can't remember if it's vegan, but this is like cruelty-free natural kind of brand. It is very runny. It's almost like watered down honey and it smells very much like blended blueberries would smell, but not very strong, like natural, not like an artery fishly, not like an artery artery fishly. I keep wanting to say artery fishly, but it's not very strong. It's natural, not like an artificial blueberry type set. Like actual blueberries and that wouldn't be very very strong and then you put it on it's quite messy it's very very thick it's like watered down honey it takes a long time to wash off so I usually wipe it off or I put it on before I'm gonna get into the shower so I can just wash it off in the shower it's a pretty intense chemical exfoliating mask it does work it does tingle and I do feel like my skin is smooth and glowing after I use it the process of using it isn't all that enjoyable because it is kind of like sticky honey and then it takes forever to get off but I do say the payoff is pretty darn good. My skin does look great after I use it. So that's my review on that. And then also in the Trend Mood box, I got the Glow Recipe Plum Plump Hyaluronic Serum, which is such a cute name, Plum Plump. And this claims to have hyaluronic acid of five different molecular weights so that it can penetrate to different levels of your skin. And this really does work so well as a hyaluronic acid. I think that it contributed to my feeling extra oily with the Kopari. I was using that initially with this. And so then I tried using my Hyaluron Skin Essence, which is much less 
heavy weight of uh, hyaluronic acid than this one. I tried going back to using that one to see how this would do. I was still oily and then I tried using this on its own and I was still a little bit oily. So this one does make you oily. But when I used these two together because this is such an intense hyaluronic acid, oh man, it was just like slick on my forehead when I would wake up in the morning. It was pretty funny. So this really does its job as a hyaluronic acid. And then I've been using the Derma E Hydration night cream hyaluronic acid with hyaluronic acid you can use as much hyaluronic acid as you want I don't know if you know that or not but you can load up on hyaluronic acid and I got this in a cause box I believe they're available at Ulta this is an extremely generous size this is two ounces of cream it's gonna take me a while to get through it is very nice it has there's something in it that reminds me a little bit of bubble gum it's a very very subtle scent but it's nice it's like a good little bubble gummy scent and I think that this is a very hydrating cream again dry skin dry skin so keep that in mind now I used this in my unboxing this is from FabFitFun. This is the Fruitia My Orchard Peach Body Essence. It's a lotion and it smells so good. In my unboxing, I talked about how it smells like an actual peach, like if you're standing in the middle of a peach orchard. That's probably why it's called My Orchard. This is really, really nice. And I put this on and my husband was like, oh, you smell nice. And I know he likes peaches a lot. So that's why I chose the peach scent. And I do like this. I'm really impressed by this. I am happy with this purchase. Happy, happy with it. So Fab bit fun. It was in the last sale, so hopefully it's available again and you can pick yourself up one if you're interested in something like that. I just touched on this one. This is an empty. This is the Hyaluron Skin Essence by Hand Skin, and this is a wonderful hyaluronic acid. Like I said, it is not as much of a heavy hitter as this one. This really gets you, but this one is so nice. The bottle lasted so long. I just pour a little bit into my hand and then go like this and pat it onto my skin and it really makes your moisturizer, hyaluronic acid essences, serums, really make your moisturizer go a longer way as you're using them. It's just great. So you really kind of save on moisturizer. I have another one of these that I'm working on in my bathroom right now and then I even have a backup from that. I love this stuff. It's a really good hyaluronic acid. So I'm going to end on this one because I'm going to take my hair down for it. This is the r Co Freeway defining spray gel it is wonderful i actually bought this one a long time ago i am not across the board the biggest fan of r co products but i really really like this spray gel it works so well i want to read the description to you amplify volume and bring control to your ends no matter what kind of hair you've got perfect for curls leaving them soft bouncy defined and never flaking shake well spray evenly so i really like this one my hair is perpetually in a bun right now because my baby is into pulling it and you know something that i did not know happened after having a baby is postpartum hair loss do you see that not only am i losing my hair like crazy my baby wants to pull it out this is my hair after using it what's really awesome is it's just like it's just a spray but the great thing about it is it's so easy to apply because of that and then on top of that usually i don't like things that spray like that because i feel so suffocated as i'm doing it but this stuff is incredible i didn't have to spray very much so it gives you that like fluffy bouncy kind of wild woman messy hair oh, i love it i love this product and i had forgotten about it it got buried in my stuff i had a big move and I have a bunch of products that got buried and packed and were in storage and either went bad or <laughs> I got them back and I'm like, oh yeah, I love that product. I'm so happy to be reunited with you. So that is it for now. I'm gonna stop talking. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.